believe very strongly in the philosophy that the pressure is not on the learner in a learner-teacher situation, the pressure is always on the teacher. And if the learner's not learning, then the teacher's done something wrong. And not to like make teachers feel bad, because I think the best teachers know that. The best teachers know that they have to learn how to teach their students. And so I'm often really humbled by the children that I work with, and I'm learning all the time. So this is for them. It's called Little Buddhas. I am humbled by children. Every single time I think that I know something, I am reminded I am just the student. James, large pink lipped smile, says, ah, as he points to the air duct. And I scratch my head thinking, air? And he goes, yeah, air. He squeals and places his face as close to the vent as possible, his cheek squeezing between the metal. If I told you his diagnosis, it wouldn't tell you anything. I didn't bring my agenda with me, so I brought my face next to his, and where you hear the word air, he felt it. The invisible city of curtains, cold curtains fluttering on my face, there is a fine line between simple and profound. We spend so much time thinking we forget to feel. And there's James, feeling to the fullest tilt of human capacity, but we call him special, and not because of his talents, it's absurd. A single language, black and white words, and numbers can create measurements for the solar systems rotating inside of us. I don't believe it. Dalton, he takes my head in his hands. He pulls my face to his and slowly taps his forehead to mine. I think it means I love you. They say that he's nonverbal, but I think he gets his point across just fine. Language is so much more, more than words or spelling. Communication is in everything that we do. There is a fine line between thinking and feeling. Diagnoses are problems, conflicts, stubborn definitions, too often created from books that don't know any better than to give definitions. I can't pretend that prisms only bleed rainbows from one single direction. Light traveling doesn't stop to ask permission on where normal is. Light traveling doesn't just scale across a bell curve. Light just travels. I haven't forgotten what it felt like to be a child told she was a problem, swallowing dictionaries for the sake of somebody else's curriculum. If I told you my diagnosis it wouldn't tell you anything. I've come to love the gaps inside of me for all of the possibilities that they gave me. The best class I have ever taken was run by children whose names were behavioral issue, non-compliance, physically aggressive, these warriors, these activists protesting with blunt knives and teeth and socially, un uh, socially unacceptable behavior they are my journeymen, and they've kept me honest. Remind me that they are the experts, and I, I just gotta try and keep up. Woo!